again, the, the CUDA TV, just, just built all by itself, man cave material, yes. Yeah. And then the sunroof cars. Oh, and it's a Hemi Super V, because why wouldn't it be? I think it's an automatic one. No, well, disrespectful, that's a four speed. What would I think of Like, that'd be anybody's cornerstone right there. But then you have, come on, come on. It's like, Last one, man, bumpers on it, on a 71. Super rare. You have a back one, no, just the front. So. Real quick, geeky stuff. So you could get that last American key at front and back third key um, bumpers, but you couldn't get just just uh, back. You had to get both or just the front. I love that. Look. Another seven. We're both any cars for us. And I'm about to say any seven cars. Some crazy. Like I'd be okay with just these four. You know. And you got the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> the Hemi Cuda convertible. Right let, let, let's go ahead and take a look at this one further. Which is, which is red, red and shaker black top, red shaker bubble. There's a crazy story of the red shaker bubble. There was early ads with, with the Cuda with the red shaker bubble. I think Challenger 2. And they didn't want to actually put those out. I can't remember if it was a paint farm or what. But they tried to make them all um, argent silver. But they ended up having to put it out because it'd be like false, false promotion if you did it. So there's, there's very few that got the red shaker bubble. In 1970. Just crazy. Color key bumpers, sport mirrors, man on red, automatic. Just. Don't you wish you were here? That would be, like, that was in anybody's collection. You'd be like, man, you're the man. And then it's just like, it's cool. It's cool. But you got sunroof Hemi car. You know, another Hemi four speed car here. Like, just ridiculous, man. But let me let me show you. Let me show you. Let me walk past the Hemi, other Hemi Cuda convertible. Let's walk past the we'll, we'll still give it its respect. We'll walk past that. We'll give it its respect. This 71 Challenger 446. Okay. I think it's a four speed. But what's dope is the day glow stripe. Super rare option. I've, I've, I've seen red ones with the day glow, but very few of them. But I think, I think the code is like V6V, something like that. Can you check? Yep, yeah, cool. These six They go strike. That is just. You got the gold wing on the back. Just, this is it. This is the best challenger here. It's not even a Hemi car. Like, it just, just look. This is just crazy. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Just 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 Black car, sinister already, orange stripes, but then it pops with the, the orange uh, ring inside the dog and cat. Like, this is the best car in this row, I think. This is, but it's not the most rare. It's not. So, so dope. Hemi car. Hemi car. Of course. This one. So, a lot of people might look and say, oh, that's a TA hood. There was a, if I remember correctly, there was a, a problem with the shaker hoods. In uh, 1970, so some some factory Hemi cars that were ordered with the shaker end up leaving with this hood instead. And this, they, they say it's a TA hood. This is a, a it's called a rare man. I can't remember. Yeah, they code N94 fiberglass fresh air uh, hood factory. So this is super rare. This is super rare. To have this on the challenger. I think it's like maybe five challengers that left with this hood on it. Just. I don't know. One or two. Crazy. Is that what it said? One yeah. or two? Yeah. Boom. I think there's five total that were made. You know, but just what? Just wow. And it's got the it's got the uh, the go wing on the back. You know, it's just like man, I love the steel and dark, it's just that's it. You know, and then you got another Hemi car. Hemi car. This is Steve Juliana car, right? Yeah. Steven Juliana car. Loaded, 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 factory sunroof, instant with a four speed tube. No automatic. Like, this is mm, seven. Like, the sunroof cars are even more rare in 71. You got the luggage rack. I remember I saw pictures with actual luggage on it. I think it said like something Nixon on the back of it. Like, all the period correct stickers. Like, just wild, man. Just wild. Then, I'm, not a, I'm not a huge fan of this bike style or a fan at all of the bike style, but this. 
Sammy, they were a huge fan of this body style. Yeah. You know, Henny, Chargers in here. Is there four speed? Let's see. No, automatic. You know, just loaded, of course. I love the Eagle Fallout. Mm hmm. I love it. I'm not even going to be But this, man. This. Hemi Charger. Triple black. Evil. Sinister. A bad, a bad man ordered this car. A bad man ordered this. I guarantee you. And then, of course, we have the shadow of the, the other Hemi Cooter, you know. Like the Beacon Rose. Like, just crazy, man. Another Hemi Charger. 68. 68. I guarantee you those are the Hemi Cooter. Um, this is a Code Touring build. I'm trying to remember. This is a giveaway car for like a meat, a meat company. No, this is a year one car. Okay, yeah. It's a year one car. There's also a giveaway car that had the same type of color scheme. Some meat company gave it away a couple, a couple years ago. But like, look at this. Look at this color, man. Just still these dog is Wow. Automatic, so this is an automatic, that's probably a four speed. Nope, both automatic, so both of cars. Everybody talks about the Chevrolet sign above this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it's like, where else would you put it? You got the right. other bigger Chevrolet sign over there. You know, I'll, I'll take it home with me. I got a trailer. I got my trailer back. But. We found the wing cars. It's just wild, man. Like, and there's, and there's another one over there. They're just, just ridiculous. Like, look, let, me, let me see this real quick. This is just, look, look at that spread. AK, if AK move him and his broken brain out the way, look at that spread over there. Just, what? <laughs> what? And you know everything here is going to be top of the line, everything. Max Wedge card already. Oh, I see a Bahama Yellow 71. GTX down there with the gold wing. We're heading that way, right there. But let me let me look at these. <sighs> like he really has car. They really have cars stacked. Like I have shoes stacked. Probably how she has shoes stacked too. <laughs> like they stack cars like we stack shoes. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Just to just appreciate the lifts. I've seen these lifts before. You know, just crazy. And they, they said they have almost every color. I wonder what they're missing. I think, I think Alpine White PA is not here. You know, but just a lot of people think the rally wheels came. You had you can only get a TA with the rally wheels. Not true. Not true. And this one, this one's weird too, because usually you see the on a TA, you'll see the uh the dog this hubcap, but there'll be a trim ring also. So to see it without is, is interesting too. But just, just, what? I just appreciate the lift, nothing else. Like it doesn't, it doesn't look real. It doesn't look real. You know, and I'm over here geeking at these. You got a, with a super duty, um, uh, what's it called? Right here. My brain's broken. Forgive me. Uh, seven, uh, 63 Tempest Super D. Forgive me. Because I'm just looking at this like this is just oh, just overwhelming. Oh, we're going to skip past that. But I remember, I remember seeing a YouTube video of this years ago about this uh, this guy shoehorned, literally shoehorned, um, what was it, a uh, helicopter engine in it. And I remember seeing this on like, uh, I think it was like Auto Week or something like that. But just to see this car in person, it was a 55 Bel Air at one point. It is just, just crazy. Let me, let me just look at this engine like, yeah. You gotta change the spark plug, forget it. Just wild. Just wild. And then all these rivets are all um, painted, all airbrushed. All that's airbrushed. Just, just 
just a dope concept. And then all the um, little billion stuff. And this looks legit. He's getting down. See you, Jacko. You know, just, just wild. And this thing just sounds amazing. Look at this. Okay. Yeah, drive from the trunk. <laughs> Just the craftsmanship on this is just amazing, man. Just sitting back one day, throwing back a couple cold ones, like, you know what? I got that old helicopter engine back there. I got that old Bel Air back there. Why not? Let me not, let me not knock my man down with his stash. It's a nice stash you got there, brother. So, but look at these meats. Slotted mags. Look at these guns. Look at these guns. Is he cool? Is that cool? He's over there geeking on the Daytonas, huh? Right. I didn't even see this car somehow. It's like... Right. Because you got the shoebox cooters and NTAs over there. But, like, dude put a helicopter engine in his Bel Air. You know? Just, I remember seeing, I think it was, I think it was on Auto Week or something like that. I did a story on this. And this thing is... I mean, obviously it's gonna be loud, but this thing is just crazy. Look, you, you drive from the trunk down there. I, I see like, the drive. I'm like, what is going well, on? There's also room for a, well, a buddy over there. So somebody crazy enough to hop in with uh, you, uh, 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 you know? Just, let, let me, let me, let me pause this real quick. So you, or you guys go ahead and pause this and so you can check this out. Oh yeah, of course it was due from Australia, because why not? Uh, I explained the right hand drive. 3,000 horsepower supercharged Merlin V12 Rolls Royce engine. That used to be in the Miss, Miss Budweiser. Budweiser Unlimited. Okay, so I'm back. I, I ran out of <laughs> I ran out of memory, but I'm back. So as we're you know, geeking over that, we got this uh, GT. This Ford GT right here, like. And and some people might not know why they call them. Well, in the back in the days they were GT40s. Then they, they lost the GT40 part. A trademark, but they're literally 40 inches off the ground. Is that you know what this is? You know what this blue car is? I know I'm about to escape this rail, but yeah. So, come on, Fred Gibbs. This would be the cornerstone of anybody's collection. You know, just just wild, man. Like it's so overwhelming, and it's hot in here. I don't know if it's just a car, but it's hot in here. Look at look at that footprint. You know, just this is a bad, bad car. I think it's a Pike Peak Torino right there. Hey, I've been to the Peterson Auto Museum. This the, is better. The what? Better. <laughs> the local car show? This <laughs> like, is way better. <laughs> the local car show? It's like just playing, love you, Peterson. But this is just like there are levels to things, and then there's this, right. you know. So yes, yes, the Pikes Peak car. Could you imagine ripping this through Pikes Peak? Look, look at the, look at the tread on the back. That's wild. Like let's let's go around and look at the tread. Like you got the regular, regular bias flies on the front steering you, <laughs> just cutting into the dirt. And is wait, is this a is a camera engine? Is it a camera? Do, 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 do. Oh, we got a Boss 429 in there? Wait a minute, what? Okay, let me let you guys look at this and pause that, you can read up on that. It's got a modified Boss 429. The Boss 429 engine's already ridiculously overpowered. 500 plus, probably 550. But I've never, look at this NASCAR uh, induc cow induction, unless it's Chevy term, but that's what it is. And both the, the breathers and like, my son's over there skating the rail. Like, <laughs> Zay, please get your car off the rail. Thank you. But look at, could you, look, could you imagine there's, there's no nothing, no sound dead there, no door panels. It's just you, car, and engine. It's not even a, I thought it was a four speed too. Wow. And he signed it. But just look, look at this. Just, a bad man drove this. Look at look at these meats. Like <laughs> what they're like truck they're like truck meats. Mm -hmm. Truck tires. But they're blue line. 
the blue line. And I've, I've never seen this either, the spoiler, and this one. Gotta be prototypes. Oh, wow. So, so crazy. Okay, stop it. No, you're gonna break it. The car's gonna break. Stage three LS6 Camaro. Here. Here, put this, put this in the other hand. Hold it in your left hand. And then hold, hold his hand with your right your, your other side. Other side. Yeah, there we go. Thanks. But yeah, we're back. So LS6. Dang, LS6 N73. That's a nice transplant. What was it? A big block car at first? They swapped it out. You guys can read that. I have more stuff to look at. Like, I'm just so stuck on this wall. As I pass all these Fords, just Thunderbolt. It's weird though. Pontiac in a row of Fords and Mercury's, but they get along. And Zay and Ali found a bench. That's what's up. In your second win. All right. Zay, you want your cup? You need a little, little, little NASCAR break? Here you go. <laughs> we'll catch up with y'all. And then as I'm about to walk past. Yeah, what are you doing? Take, take a minute. <laughs> right. The infamous Daytona under the Chevy sign. On, on the recall wheels, like, these wheels were recalled in 69. So just even having a set of those is ridiculously rare. And I'm gonna be real with y'all, those wheels do not look good. I can see why they're recalled, besides safety issues, but it's not a good looking wheel to me. Just me. You guys go ahead and pause that. But just having them both rotating right here. Either one of these would be the cornerstone to a collection, and they're just sitting in between rows of TAs and AARs. And like a 60 foot Chevrolet sign. And I don't know what this is. I'm sure it's expensive. It's probably like one of five, whatever it does. Leave me a comment if you know what this is. There's a scale or something of some sort. Looks like something the Mayans had. I don't know what it does. I'm not gonna touch those brass things. I'm sure those are real brass. Um, do you know what this is? No, but I do want to point out again that Chevrolet <laughs> is on top. <laughs> AK is a Chevy man. Yeah. Hey, these are both Hemi cars too. I didn't realize that. Still got the, the, the uh, window sticker in there. Oh, that's, that's wild. Wow. That. Right. <sighs> okay, let me do this wall some justice. In case my phone dies or something, I got it. I can't leave here without showing people this. So stacked. Just these lips, lips. See, my brain's gone. Lips are crazy. I think they're like fifteen thousand dollar lips. Three high. I've seen them online. Can't get those on Amazon. Like, man. And then, okay, so. If you walked into somebody's, if you walked into somebody's, if you walked into somebody's garage and was like, yo, no, you got a Moulin Rouge, uh, AAR, or Cuda AAR, you'd be like, man, you're the man. And you got a demon, wow. Can I put an application in where you work? But it's, it's, you basically walk past it. You're stacking. You, this is your entry level. Right. It's like, oh, that's nice. It's an entry level baller. That's nice. Okay. So let, let me tell you what I, was, what I was saying earlier. So if you dig it a TA without rally wheels, you got, I thought they came standard with this trim ring. So to see the one over there without it is, is, is weird. I don't like it with a trim ring, personally. I like it uh, just a regular sleeping dog dish, in my opinion. Um, so, okay, yeah, let's go this way. What is that? Is that a tuck? What is this car right here? Is this a, a gear? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah, why yeah. Would, it's probably the only one. Probably was in this garage or something. Well, since you to be the first. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> So you guys go ahead and pause that. 57 gear, learn about it. 440, six pack, four speed, super B. I'm sure that's a cool story. I'm gonna let you pause that and read that. You guys are gonna do a lot of pause in this video. So we're gonna walk past this Mustang with the nice paint. I'll give him a little paint shine. 
That's some nice paint. But we're gonna go up here to the 70 Boss 302. Like, and I'm seeing smudge on here, so it's gotta be original. I'll let you guys pause that. Cause I, I got, I don't have time to read everything. Uh, I, hey. I, I don't even, I don't even fuck with Fords, dog. Dog, world, it's, it's world, what, it's like world is, of something. What is this? World, it's like six miles on it. Three, Three miles, miles, my bad. I disrespected it. World, oh. it's like, there's like a promotion that went on. World of something. I'm sure it's gonna say on here. Mustang offered like 13 weird colors. Uh, doo -doo. I'll let you guys do what you do on this one. Um, a Ford dealership in Nebraska. Bob Mercer had a plan. Several hot sun car, blah, 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 blah. So all the new officers order color. Irish color, Irish color. 3.5 miles. This original everything. Crazy. <laughs> original tires. Original, probably original air. <laughs> you know? I got, I got to put in what it was, it was like World of Something, there's a promotion going on where they, they came out with this. And I recently came across a guy who has a 69 uh, Super Cobra Jack Mach 1 that is painted in a different hue that I will give you guys a full story on here soon. Now I'm gonna drop a picture of it. Let me, I'm gonna drop the picture right there, okay? Factory color, just know that. There'll be more details on that here soon. So, Boss 302. Zay, Zay, you know, Zay, what's this right here? You know what this is? Zay, baby, you know what this car is? What color is it? First of all, do you know what color this is? Oh, he's not feeling, he's tired. <laughs> he's overwhelmed. Um, just, mm. Gonna be the top of the line cooker. It's probably a four speed. You know, it's a convertible. Um, pretty sure that's an automatic. I'll read that. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> like just, just, just ridiculous. Everything. I'm sure you gotta have an eliminator in here somewhere. 428 Super Cobra Jet, four-speed Cougar. I just will casually strolled past. Factory 427 car. Didn't know those came with 427s. Mind blown yeah, again. Comes back for the vehicle. Oh man. The only black Bosso 2, known as Black Betty. Look at that, with the black, with the, with the black stripes. This would look so nice. I'm about to plug another video in mine real quick. This looks so nice for my boy Johnny's uh, 70TA, which is black, with black stripes. And then also my buddy uh, Marcus's 70 um, GTX, which are both driven hard. That would be nice to see those three wind up together. Uh, another Cobra Jet four speed Cougar. Tucker, man, that's a huge car. Oh, Drag Pack, Cyclone. I really like these with the hideaways. But. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Pantera, yeah. But, but look, at the, look at the contrast. I know it's on a lift. I gave us like maybe four inches, but look how huge that one is and how low these ones are. I'd be interested to know if these are lower than the GT40. Oh. Right. They're pretty close. It looks really low. I'm, I'm gonna drop the answer to that right here with the power of editing. <laughs> <laughs> Love Panteras though. Panteras are crazy. You know what? I still kick myself. So three years ago, I was at a swap meet over in Bremerton and somebody was selling an NOS set of um, Pantera wheels. Day Tommaso wheels. And they were like 800 bucks for an NOS set, just the wheels. And I was like, I don't have anything to put those on. And I didn't buy them. I didn't buy them. You should have had them just to have them. They could have been a nightstand. I, they would look real cool on my Mach 1 now. Well, it would have been a reason to get you to buy a Pantera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> let, me drop, let me drop six figures on a Pantera real quick. My son don't need to go to college. You don't need to go to college, do you? Nah, college overrated. And so let's look at this. There's gotta be a reason this, this four door is sitting over here. I wonder if they have the four-door Hemi in here too. There's, there's like a four-door, there's like like one or two four-door Hemi Cornets that were ordered by the military and they're all four speeds. So there's gotta be something stupid. Is it a four speed? Yeah, okay. Four. <laughs> what? 
427, 425 horse, four speed sedan. Come on. When the wife would when not you let you. You really need to get to soccer practice. When the wife wouldn't let you get a Mustang. You know what? what? All right. <laughs> Hey, we going grocery shopping today. Man. We going shop today. And that color, you, were, you wouldn't even think twice about this car. You rolled up on it like, uh, then, all you, then all you end up seeing is this view. Yeah. All you end up seeing is this view as he chirps through second. Chip, chip. Blow you away. That is wild. And then the super bird over there. Let me, oh my God, there's so many, H okay, look. Dude, the interior in this is wild. Those are, those are amazing. I gotta go back over here. I gotta do this row before I run out of space and I don't know what that is. Oh, it's the oil change. Hey, it's an old oil change machine. Wow. <sighs> Another super bird. Just automatic column shift. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do these cars just, okay. That's how we, I got a game plan, bet. Max Wedge Fury. We're gonna roll through this. 65 satellite, uh, max wedge, of course. Hemi, automatic. Hemi four speed Belvedere. Hemi, of course. They're all gonna be heavy. Oh. 68 GTX. Hemi, automatic, convertible. Roadrunner convertible is already rare. Hemi four speed naturally. Stripper. Dog dishes and steelies. Come on, man. One of the best Mopars ever built, in my opinion. My top five cars. Uh, and I don't care if it's, it's going to be the Roadrunner or the Subi. I'll take it. An A12 car, four-speed. Just when people talk about factory race cars, this is a factory race car. Like, how much car do you want with your engine? <laughs> and then, of course, um, 446 barrel, four-speed. With, with the, what color is that interior? I'll let y'all pause it. I gotta keep it moving or I'm not gonna get everything. And the N96, the shaker hood was not uh, automatically, did not automatically come on 446 barrel cars, just the Hemi car. So you paid more for that, but why not? And then this one, ugh. Another Hemi Cuda. Look how sinister that, that black stripe. Just amazing. And this is just a wild color, so understated but blow your doors off. And it's a four speed, naturally. And it's got the uh, fiber, I think the fiber optics, uh, that's what Chevy called them, I can't remember. I'll put the name of those too. Power of editing, right? Boop, that's what those are. Loaded car, Hemi four speed. I'll let you guys pause that. Cause I have to keep on moving. <sighs> Look at this, just, Tour red. Come on, man. This is what I saw earlier. So, oh my god. So this this is this is amazing. This is dope. I love this color. It's it's Bahama yellow. It's also uh, butterscotch. If it's a Dodge, correct? Yeah, Bahama yellow paint. Good. Brain is still working a little bit. Nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> but sunroof car as well, and one of the best colors. Color was only available in 69 and then 70, uh, 71. It showed no love to 1970. But, and I'm not a huge fan of this body style, although I do have a 71 GTX that I rescued. Another video plug, right? Boop! 440 four speed car. I do like the car. It's growing on me. But this is how you order them 71 Roadrunner, 426 Hemi, four speed with the air grabber. This air grabber is so dope. And then the bird, the bird, man. Like, this is how you order, and it's got the gold wing on the back. So let me, let me show you some of that. With the gold wing. So, the perfect pair to me in 71. AK, what do you think about this pair? So, Hemi, four-speed Roadrunner with the, with the stripe. Let me let you guys pause it. I can't remember what the name of that stripe is or what the color is. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, can't remember, brain's racing, but it's probably in there somewhere, I can't even see it, my eyes are blind. So, that, that strobe stripe. Ooh, okay. So this car plus the 71 Challenge over there we looked at earlier. Yeah. Both on Steelies and Dog Dishes. Uh-huh. Nasty, like, 
Oh yeah, I want it. I need it. Like, I got it. I got to have it. Could you imagine? I got to have it. Could you imagine that some dealership in 1971 looked yeah. like this? Yeah. Like which one do you want? Like, I ain't sure. I don't know. Did you look at the the 71s more the blue? What you talking about? Uh, oh, the, the uh, this the, the convertible, the, the Seattle car. One of I know all about. You talking about scooter right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I know all about that car. I figured you. Did. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to roll this way, <laughs> and then come this we, way. We got a plan. We'll be, we'll I'm be trying here to all stick day. to it. Oh, we're like squirrels. Yeah. 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 But but stand yeah. close in case I get the stumbling. Catch me. <laughs> I'll catch you. Catch me. <laughs> so yes. Hey, how y'all ladies doing? I love seeing two lovers. Oh man. man. We we walked in the front door. Oof. I about had like a meltdown because it was too much. Like, they take a break. Well, you know, a lot of people thought the very front of the house just dead. And then they go to the midsection and say, you know what? When you hit the ramp, stop. Yeah. Just look and then you realize. I knew like, that I was getting in. I would have appreciated still, I like, I just that part. I'd be like, this is dope. Yeah. Thank you. What's your name? Oh, I'm John. Desi. Desi, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, I, I would have walked in and be like, thank you, John. This was amazing. And walked out. Exactly. And then you see this. Oh, yeah. Like, my oh, son is over there somewhere with his cousin. He hasn't said a word in like 30 minutes. He's just like, what? Uh, what? And it's a, it's a blessing for us because we, we're just volunteering to, to help out. I've never met the brothers. Really? Just get the, but this is, the, I think, the fourth time that they've asked for help. Wow. And, we get a and so every time they get us do something new. I'm a food guy. Yeah. And yeah. Chargers, 71 Cooter is the best must car ever made. Oh, ever. I think so. And they got to have billboards. That one's dope, but I got to have billboards. I have to have billboards. Right, right, right. No question. Uh, I'm with you. Yeah. I love, I love Oh yeah, yeah. Um, uh, that what, what's the name? Oh, he used to own that car. Uh, Tom Limbeck, Limbeck in Chicago, I think it is. No, no, I think he owned a, a, a Winchester gray one that was also from overseas. It was a lost one because the the import, the export ones weren't known the how many were made. So it popped up like, oh, it's not a real one. It is. They export them, but they didn't keep really good documentation of them. But if you pop the hood, they have the exported to. They have their own uh, VIN number for over there. It's yep. This, yeah, crazy. This story crazy. Crazy. You know, let, let me let me finish this row. Fast let me finish this row. All, all this needs is billboards. Uh, let me know what y'all think. This is this rally red. What is this? <sighs> Just mm. this and and that. Just crazy. Now let me let me do these hemi kudos real quick, and then I'm a good. Hey, thank you, thank you. Let me let me get this story real quick. So hemi kuda convertible. I heard something about a Jag not being fast enough. So let yeah. me yeah. let me no, let you guys. Story. Let's go. And this is the last hemi kuda convertible made. So go ahead and pause this. Uh, it is said that she ordered the car through her local Simca outlet as her Jaguar was not getting her to the Monte Carlo casino quick enough. Wow. Levels to this shit. Levels. And it's got power windows. Automatic. What's up, guys? Just, how, how are you doing, son? Thumbs up? Yeah. You say what? <laughs> are you having fun? Yeah. Okay. What's what's this red car behind us? What's what's this car here? You know what this red car is? What's this one here? What's that? Huh? Um, you gotta say it loud. It's a what? Cool. Oh, that's my baby. That's my baby. All right. So let's get the rest of them. Hemi Cuda, of course. No billboards. This is the infamous Seattle car. 3.5 million, if I remember right. I never noticed. It has those also. And they're scooted way up. Oh, I guess that's where they are to eat, buddy. The infamous Seattle car. This has a really cool story. I'll let y'all pause this, but... It has a really cool story of the ownership before. Um, I've seen, let me, let me post a picture of this right there, of this car back in the day before it was worth three point whatever million and it was just being daily driven. So four speed car, blue, what color is the top? White top? Yeah, white top. I can't believe how close I am to this. Take a picture of me. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm within millimeters of this car, like. <laughs> Levels. Wild. Levels. Wow, that's amazing. What time is it? I don't know. Well, we I, I got 30. 30? Okay, one we got an hour. hour. We got an hour. Okay, perfect. <sighs> Another so, Hemi, 
Challenger. With the okay, some people like these. I hate these. The the door edge mold or the um door edge molding. Is that what that's called? Or is that that one? I don't know. Whatever it is. I hate this this stripe. But it's a Hemi car. You wouldn't. It's probably a Survivor. I didn't even get the story. Look at me. No, fully restored. I mean, car like this, you got to put them back on there. But yeah. What do you say? the Hemi engine for his boat. What? What? Wait, what? <laughs> he took the engine out or something? Hold up. Driving the car for several years, he sold it to the local Ford dealer who wanted the Hemi engine for his boat. Oh, wow. He replaced it with a smaller engine, sold it to the local farmer. Years ago, they discovered and put it back together. Wow. I mean, they weren't they weren't worth anything back then. Yeah, exactly. They were you know, family cars. They were just whatever. They weren't, you know, uh, investment pieces. I love. See, so Dodge came back with the pearl, uh, the Plum, Plum Crazy. crazy. Plum. Yeah, but it's, it's nothing like this. Like this has like a pearl to it. It's got more depth. It seems like. Yeah, and it was crazy. This is a 1970 color. Like they were really getting down. Psychedel From the factory. Well, psychedelics were out then too. Yeah, so you know, but yeah. Just, I love that color, and I love this. I love this the side stripe. I love this. I think it's like V, V W, something like that. Brains fried. Normally I'd be on top of it, but four speed car. And I'm sorry, guys. This video isn't like my normal videos. You know, there's a lot of stuff to see, and I gotta remember to talk or shut up, like at the same time. So, so did we go? I didn't go this side. Okay. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go over here. I mean, my, my son's over there playing on the bench <laughs> next to the year one uh, <laughs> Superbird tribute, next to two spinning Daytonas <laughs> with his cousin. Hey, I mean, they, they don't know how wild their lives they are. They don't. Like, they'll look back like, well, I mean, they has been doing this since. I was say forever for his whole two and a half years, but I took her to the Peterson when she was four. Right, <laughs> spoiled these kids. Duh. She's got a picture in front of Gypsy Rose, the world's most famous. Come on rider, now, you know? like, come on now, come on now. <laughs> but I think the next generation will be fun. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, High five. Yeah, high five for dads. There we go. <laughs> Dad, like